Hey everybody, Seth Daly here with the Daily Group of Keller Williams Gateway. And I wanna take a quick minute and tell you what is the latest news going on in the Baltimore real estate market. And of course, we're gonna take a look at some statistics. So let's dive in. The market has been shifting a little bit. And it's some news that you're not really gonna hear in the newspapers for a little bit. But I'm going to show you something here, and, and it goes like this. If you are a seller, you're going to hear stories right now of what the market has been for friends that have been selling over the past couple of months. And the market in the summer in Baltimore has been pretty uh, pretty solid. It's, it's been a great market. But we're starting to see a couple signs of what I would call some rain clouds on the horizon. And depending on where you find yourself, uh, those rain clouds could bring uh, a, a, a little bit of fresh precipitation Maybe you're a buyer and you've been looking for your chance. Uh, that's really great. Those rain clouds, if you're a seller right now, could also mean like, hey, uh, this has been great. The summer's been wonderful, but uh, we really need to finish this party uh, before the rain starts. As always, I always like to bring data. And these are some examples of the charts that we look at on a regular basis. So this is the most recent data we have, which is August for the Baltimore Metro market. And if I, if I show you, a little bit of what we're looking at here. First off, the market is still really, really solid. Our average days on market is 15. And this is crazy when we compare it to a year ago. So a year ago, average days on market was a little over a month. And now we're at about two weeks. Here's one way to understand that. If you are a buyer and you are making an offer and you're making an offer on a property inside of its first two weeks, you're going to be paying very, very close to list price. So look at this, 101% of the original sales price uh, to, the, to the, uh, the original list price to the sales price. That's a really, really solid number for a seller. But understand that is when a property is selling inside of the first seven to 14 days. That's what we're seeing in this market. In contrast, once a house sort of extends beyond that 15, 20 day window, we're watching sellers become more flexible. Uh, if you are a seller, we're watching you need to become more flexible and we're watching buyers get a little bit of a reprieve in the market. So here's another way. If, if you look at this and, and like these numbers just totally bore you, uh, this won't be much better, but at least there's a little bit of a picture. And, and here's a couple of thoughts. Number one, new listings. So these are the new inventory that went on market. It's still up from a month ago. So inventory is increasing a little bit as far as what's going on the market but the rate at which it's going up is slow from a year ago. So a year ago uh, to now it was up 11%, but month over month, it's only up 3%. New pending. So this tells us the number of properties that are going under contract and across the entire Baltimore Metro region, new pendings are still up from a month ago, but we're actually down from last year. So this is really interesting news. And it, this is what I mean when I say there's perhaps a rain cloud on the horizon. And lastly, I would say this, I pay a lot of attention to what's going on right now in the number of closed sales and the median sales price. And for the first time, if you start to watch these numbers, uh, we're potentially seeing a shift. Now, what we don't know is if this thing is going to correct and it's going to keep climbing back up, or if perhaps we've seen the top of a shift. All I'd say is this, this has been a reprieve for some of our buyers. We're seeing our buyers be, be able to get into properties that they might not otherwise have gotten. Uh, we're also watching our sellers succeed if we get under contract quickly, which means we've got to be price right, price competitive for the market, and we've got to be in great condition. Or we're watching those properties sell quickly. When, we're, when we've got a property that maybe it's going to need a little bit more TLC or there's a very unique buyer and they're sitting on the market longer, we are watching there start to be a little bit of softening of the market. So just something to keep in mind as you're considering whether you want to buy or sell this fall or into the coming year. Hope you're doing well and reach out with any questions. Take care.